Hot summer nights wouldn't be the same without the mesmerizing light show provided by fireflies. This phenomenon, known as chemiluminescence, is also at the heart of how glow sticks give off their otherworldly light. In the early 1960s, when scientists took the first steps towards developing their own version of a firefly, they knew what was required. A molecule that emits light when it's excited, and an energy source to excite that molecule. In chemiluminescence, that source is a chemical reaction. Chemicals known as peroxides seemed like likely participants because of their potential to release large amounts of energy during chemical reactions. The reaction that chemists developed in the 60s to create an efficient glow is still used in today's glow sticks. A compound called oxalate ester and hydrogen peroxide react to form an unstable chemical called peroxyacid ester, as well as phenol. The peroxyacid ester decomposes to form more phenol, and most importantly, a highly energetic ring compound. As this ring compound decomposes into two carbon dioxide molecules, it gives up its energy to the dye molecule, which makes it light up in impressive fashion. Every glow stick is like a mini chemistry set in action. Oxalate ester and colorful dye is in the outer chamber, while hydrogen peroxide is in a small vial in the middle. When you crack a glow stick, the glass vial breaks, releasing the peroxide and kick-starting the reaction that leads to the glowing effect. Different fluorescing dyes make different colors. For example, the common green in most glow sticks comes from 910-bisphenylethanol anthracene. To get a blue color, you can use a dye known as 910-diphenyl anthracene. Green and yellow glow sticks are a piece of cake. Reds are a bit tougher to produce. Purple, made from a combination of three dyes, is the most difficult color of all. So the next time you bask in the light of glow sticks at a concert or a party, take a moment to appreciate that chemistry is behind that out-of-this-world glow.